What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Audacity. Now just before I get into this video, let's say this is a request tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. I've got this asked me in the YouTube comments. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Okay, so getting straight into it, for those that don't know what Audacity is, it's just a free software that you can use to record your voice. It's very high quality and it's free, so it's definitely worth it. Now this is what it'll look like when you first open it up. Now if you haven't downloaded this already, then you can go to the description and there'll be a download link to their official site where you can download it from. So let's get straight into it. So it's very simple to set up and all you need to do is follow these settings right here. These four boxes. This will get you sorted. So the first one, I've always had it on Windows Direct Sound. From the moment I've had Audacity, I've left it on that. For you, you might need to change it, but it's completely up to you. Windows Direct Sound is perfect for me. Now you'll see here there is a speaker sign right here, so this is where the output device actually is. So this can be your speakers or your earphones. Now I always use earphones, so earphones for me is this one right here. So I'd click that, however if you do have different things plugged in then they should appear here. Now alongside that is a microphone symbol, which means this is what you record your voice with. So this is set up to record with my microphone. It's actually a Samsung CO1U. You can see right there, it doesn't actually say Samsung CO1U. It just said microphone to USB audio device. So you have to check around. If you do have more than one microphone plugged in, you'll have to go ahead and select which one it is if it is not named correctly. But it's very simple to use. Go ahead and just select your mic. Now after that, all you need to do is come alongside it and select whatever you want. Now I assume when you do select your microphone here, this will change as well to match the microphone settings, but if it doesn't, personally, I've always used two, stereo input channel. So again, it's up to you. You can go ahead and test it out and record, but it's completely up to you. Find out what's best for you. Now, if we come up here, this part really doesn't matter. So this part right here just controls the volume of your computer. So if you put it up, then it will make it go up from here as well. So you'll see if we put this to full, this will also put it to full. Now what this actually controls, when you have recorded something and you play it back from this play button right here, then you're going to have this volume control here which will tell you or show you how loud the volume will be when you play it back. Now this microphone symbol up here is pretty important. Now what this does, it shows you how loud you will come out when you speak into your mic. So you can see I have mine on max, that way it's going to be loud longer wavelengths as you'll see and that is why I have it louder because if this is all the way up, it means my voice will be much louder in videos. If it's further down, then it's not going to be as loud. So if you sit close to your mic and your voice is pretty loud, then you can go ahead and turn it down. But if your mic doesn't pick you up that good, or you're far away from it, you can just go ahead and turn this up. Now, my mic actually doesn't record while I'm actually using my screen recording software. I use Camtasia, so while I've got Camtasia up, Audacity doesn't work for me. So currently, I'm recording my voice using Camtasia software. So... If I press this record button right here, this is where I'd usually speak into. So you can see, you can also press Shift R to start the recording. So you can see, now, oh, it's actually working. Okay, there you go, it's working. So it's actually worked for once, it doesn't usually work, but there you go. This is what it looks like, and you can see if I just turn this down, you can see it's going to come up much smaller. That is why I have it all the way up like that, so it projects my voice much more. So once you have done recording, all you need to do is press Stop, or of course you can press Pause, that way it will pause right there and then once you start recording again it will be playing back from this part but if you press record again then it's going to start recording on another line like so and this is also going to interrupt so you can see it's going to be playing over at the same time now if you don't like this track all you need to do is press delete if you want to move it you move to this tool right here time shift tool and you can see this is just going to move it along the timeline and we can go ahead and place it right after that like so and you can see there's even a little snap there so it adds on to the end. Now what else you can do with this, if you come to this tool right here, selection tool, you can delete some stuff. So you can just come and highlight it, press delete, and it deletes. Now it doesn't have to be on the end, it can be in the middle, so we'll go ahead and highlight this right here, delete, and it brings everything closer together. Now we come to the envelope tool, this actually controls the sound. So this can be controlled how loud you actually speak. It's a simpler way, so if you have it really loud, then you can just go ahead and turn this down and it will lower your voice. Now the magnifying glass obviously just to move in and out, so left click to zoom in, right click to move out. 
Now the final thing right here is the multi-tool button. So what this is, if we press this, we have access to the wavelength. We have access to the, the select tool, which we can delete stuff with, like this. And we also have access to zooming in like that. So you can see, left click is just zooming out. Now, if you don't like the audio tracks, you can go ahead, come here, and press the X, and you can see it's been deleted. If you've actually done it by mistake, you can press Control Z, it comes straight back up there. So again, just press Delete. Now again here, you can control how loud the volume is that you play back, so you can come ahead, put it to Gain 36. Now, the higher the gain, the less quality it will be. So the higher you have this, it won't be as good. But if you have it lower, then obviously it's going to be quieter. So I all well, for me personally, I can always have it on zero because my mic picks it up good enough. And then also up here, we've got playback speed. So you can mess with that if you want to. You can have it really fast, have it really slow. Completely up to you. Then the final thing to export it, all you need to do, press Control A and it highlights everything right there. Come to File, Export, and now we'll say this is a desktop. Now you can see it's going to put as a WAV file or you can put it to anything else that is on the screen right there. I always have it as WAV. And now I'm just going to go ahead and call it test. Just test. Click save. And you can see this is going to come for as well. So you can put your artist name and stuff if you are doing like voice recording for singing. But it's up to you. And then after that, go ahead and click OK. And then it's actually exported. So if we come to the desktop, it's right there. Test. So we go ahead and open that up. You see now. Oh, it's actually working. OK, there you go. And you can see if I just turn this down. You can see it's going to come up much smaller. That is why I have it. So it's very simple to do. That is how you use Audacity. Very basic. That is the exact same steps I use when I record. So you'll be able to make your YouTube videos using Audacity as well. Now, I don't know if you heard it in the recording, but you can hear my computer fan in the background. If you want to know how to get rid of background noise, then you can go in the description where I'll show you how to get rid of background noise because I've already made a video on that. So yeah, that is it for this video. Hopefully it has helped you and hopefully you can now use Audacity for your YouTube videos. Like I said, I start the video for like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter where I'll keep you updated when I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I post three, four times a week. And finally be sure to go ahead and add me on Snapchat or just show what I do throughout my day. So yes, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.